Every eight minutes, a child is taken to an emergency room for medicine poisoning. Well, adults could do a better job of keeping poisons away from kids. First News reporter Greta Mitterator explains. So especially... Andrea newman Tady with Akron Children's Hospital Mahoning Valley says toddlers and teens are most at risk for medicine poisoning and a trip to the ER. Can you tell the difference between candy and medicine? They have a display set up here, and I'm going to try to guess the answers, starting with, let's figure out which one's candy. That's the jelly bean, and that's the, um, the cough suppressant. I got two out of my four guesses correct. It's not just the medicine cabinet that poses risks, but also open bags like a purse. She says it's easy for a child to reach in and grab products like creams, cough drops, or eye drops. So try to keep them out of reach. Definitely that hand sanitizer, it's easy open. These are not child resistant, and that can go into little hands and into mouths. Our cleaning agents for our floors. Many household cleaning products can be dangerous to little ones too. Newman Tady advises parents to keep those items up high and in locked cabinets. You might walk in on your child and see them just kind of playing with a lid and not knowing, did they ingest any of this? She says when in doubt, call Poison Control. The number is 1-800-222-1222. Reporting for WKBN 27 First News, I'm Greta Mitterrader.